Hey everybody, great that you're back. Today I like to show you this little thing here. It is a heart rate sensor, but it can do much, much more. It can do Bluetooth, it can do N+, and it can work as a bridge between N+, and Bluetooth, which is the real awesome thing about the sensor, because, um, for example, if you are in a in a gym and you have a spinning bike that is um, that has N+, plus, so you could link your heart strap to the bike, you now can link this bike to your heart strap, get the data from the bike, like the watt, the speed, the cadence and everything that the bike transmitted, it transmitted, transmits it to this, this heart rate sensor, to the Viva, and your Viva then will transmit it to Swift, for example. So this is really great, great if you are a lot in hotels or at, in gyms and you would like to have Swift running there, you simply connect this then to the Swift app and you have all the data um, in Swift. Of course, um, it is not it, it, it lags around one, two, three seconds, you know, because it first has to get the data, it has to transfer it, and then it has to send it to Swift. So do not do any 10 second intervals or something like that, or, um, or a race or something. But if you, if you just want, want to write on Swift and uh, do some normal workouts, this is great. I mean, it gives you all the possibilities to get the data in there and out there. It can store data up to 65 hours. It um, stores your single activities in a FIT file so you can send it to any other um, platform. It is IP67, um, which means you can also swim with it. So it would be also a great little thing for a triathlon. Um, you can run, you can swim, you can bike with it. And uh, it is extremely accurate. The heart rate is uh, yeah, up to 10 times more accurate than with lots of other um, heart rate straps. So, this little thing is a real little miracle, I say, because it, um, it gives you much more options. It also gives you the option if like, if you, if you run Swift on Apple TV and you know, you have only four Bluetooth connections and then you have to decide, um, you know, which sensors to couple with it, to pair with it. But now you can pair the sensors to the Viva and have the Viva send all the information to the Apple TV and then you only need one Bluetooth connection. So you save a lot of, um, you know, Bluetooth connection and stuff like this. So have a look at it. It is really great. It costs, I think it costs around um, 80 bucks. And I'm very, very satisfied with it because now I can, you know, I can connect my Ant Plus sensors to it. I can stream all the information it transfers it to Bluetooth, it sends it to Strava, to Endomondo, to Runtastic, you name it, this little thing can do it. So it, um, it offers you much more possibilities to use other apps, um, yeah, like Swift or something in the gym. So have a look at it. It's a very nice device. Um, you just strap it around your chest with this um, with this band. You just it's like a little old fashioned, I have to say, but it works. And um, you connect it with the app at first with the Viva app uh, with the Four I app, and then you do all the setup things and get your sensors connected through the Four I app. Then you disconnect it from the 4i app. This is very important because, you know, you can only have one active Bluetooth connection. So you disconnect it from the 4i app and then you can connect it to uh, whatever app you like, like Swift, like Endomondo, like Strava or any kind of app. So, and then it will send all this information to the apps. It will store all the information 
as I said before, up to 65 hours in a fit, in, in, in separate fit files for every activity, it will create a new fit file. And um, that way you have all your data here, even though if you, you know, you have it stored and you can send it wherever you'd like to. So I can highly recommend this advice from 4i, it's the Viva and give it a try. It is really, really great. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and you can always subscribe my channel and otherwise I wish you a great day and I see you next time. Bye bye.